Hey boys and girls, so we're getting ready to film another segment for your enjoyment, but I want to take a few minutes to just explain how this all relates to engineering. You know, last week we talked about a challenge I had for you to try to finish before the end of the year, and that was to create something that solved a problem or a need, and how engineers, or the engineers inside of all of us, uh, are utilized to, to do that. And so, you know, the kitchen is a perfect place to find those examples. When a cook uh, needs to uh, create something for the enjoyment of people and also to feed them and give them nutrients and sustenance, um, they have to put together things based on science and that includes math in there. And oftentimes you'll find that the famous chefs that you see on television and all that, they also throw in uh, another uh, steam element and that is uh, the arts. Um, because no one wants to, to eat something that looks yucky or unappealing, right? Something that looks like mush. Um, it could taste great, but people are gonna be like, you eat that. Um, so all of those things kind of help to have to work together and what's so awesome about cooking is that at the, the, the base of, of cooking is uh, science. Um, uh, it, there's, there's chemistry uh, because the, the chemistry uh, creates the flavors that, uh, that we enjoy. It also uh, makes things possible if you don't want a, a cake for example if you don't want a cake to um, to start rising them fall flat then you have to understand the ratio of the chemistry that's that's in the ingredients that you put together to make that cake so it's very important to pay attention to that so the people who study that uh, and there are people who uh, go into the kitchen and and look at it from a scientific perspective uh, point of view to get the best uh, results um, and then they pass on their their findings to uh, chefs and there are plenty of chefs who do that on their own who fix and create things and cook things through trial and error um, just like engineers do. I wanted to take this moment real quick to just show you how engineers can be found even in the kitchen. So if you were looking to find something that you could do and maybe in the kitchen uh, for your last project, um, that's a great idea because there's plenty of things you can find in the kitchen that uh, can, can satisfy the requirements for your project, right? Uh, like this, we're about to make some, a cake here for you and, and there's way more than eight parts to making a, a cake. So this qualifies if it's something that you'd like to do um, to satisfy that assignment. But uh, you know, more than anything else, don't think of the stuff that you do, that you explore, that you try as assignments. Think of them as life lessons and as something fun to just do because it's exciting to, to discover uh, the science and engineering that's all around us. Um, well, have fun if you're going to do something in the kitchen, have fun if you're going to do something out there, uh, outside the kitchen, maybe in the yard, wherever, just whatever you choose to do for your project, make it fun, have fun learning and discovering that engineering is all around us. Well, I've got to go put on my shirt uh, for the segment, and so stay tuned for that, and uh, enjoy. I'll see you later. All right. Uh, somebody make me pretty, please. Come on. <laughs>